Hey everybody, uh, we're just starting mailbag I think. I just got to get settled in here. Sorry, I'm just a half a minute late. Um, uh, let's see here, what uh, what was I going to say? Uh, this is this is our mic check by the way, so let me know on Discord if you can hear everything okay today. And uh, I'm definitely um, still kind of in the waking up phase of my morning, so we're going to try our best to make this all work. Uh, okay, um, I did not grab a chair. They're right here though, right just outside this door. I guess you guys can still hear me just fine. I mean, if you can hear me at all. Could keep talking to you, tell you what the news is, but we got the news yesterday, and there's nothing changed since yesterday, as far as I know. The little kittens upstairs all have their eyes open, some to varying degrees. I think that, uh, uh, don't tell me. Hang on, hang on, I got the name. It's, um, nope, I don't, I don't got it. Uh, well, anyway, uh, one of them is a, is a little bit uh, behind the others in, in every sense, I think. It's the number four. Um, she, uh, she, you know, there's always one that seems like it's just a little bit behind the runt, the small one. And she's the small one, and her eyes are open and just like a, a day behind everybody else, I think. Maybe maybe a day and a half. So uh, she's a little behind, but I, I expect, I didn't actually look at them this morning up close. I expect, uh, with maybe the exception of her, Everybody's got their eyes open by now, uh, fully. They should by today. Sorry if I'm going to be sipping coffee right into the microphone, um, but that's probably going to happen. Let's see here. Let me check to make sure I can be heard. Check to make sure that I can be seen. Can you hear me? Tommy, can you hear me? Tommy, can you see me? Okay. We're good. Um, so... I know there were letters in today's mailbag, letter, at least one. I'll tell you, not only is today going to be disorganized, I'm going to have to admit to some, some more um, terrible disorganization today. I did that yesterday, too. I guess that's the theme for this weekend of mailbags, is uh, painful admissions. Uh, I know when some people say brutal honesty, they usually mean you're saying something bad about somebody else or to somebody else that's you know going to offend them. In my case, uh, brutal honesty seems to mean saying something bad about myself. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and pull off that Band-Aid while, uh, while we're talking about it, which is, um, I know some people gave me some stuff at KACon, and I just spent the last hour, um, well, I spent some time hanging out with Till upstairs, you saw that, but uh, prior to that, I spent about an hour... Uh, searching the house for the stuff that was given to me at KACon, and I found the swag bags that I got at KACon. And by the way, they had some really cool stuff in it. I have, didn't even get a chance to look in them at KACon. KACon was like a like a dream, like uh, serious, like literally, like it just. I, I'm asking myself, you know, for everything. Like, did that even really happen? You know, like it was just, it was fantastic. But it's also, it goes so fast, and there's so much happening, and uh, by the time it's over, I'm just, you know, in a, in a haze. So, uh, um, it, was, it was fantastic, um, but I don't clearly remember even, like, you know, who gave me what, or, or kind of like how much uh, there might be that I still need to look for. I do know Uben, Ubenam, Uben, I'm never going to say your name right, um, uh, you are, <laughs> I do know, uh, gave me a bag that had some really special cookies in it, and I know I haven't been able to find that one yet. Um, I even checked in DJ's car, but I will, I will say I haven't yet done an exhaustive search, so it's still entirely possible that the things that I haven't been able to find are here. And I just need to um, look more. Um, but uh, it's also possible that they're not. Uh, I don't. I don't clearly remember. All I remember when I left KACon, I remember I picked up the bags that I'd put at the front, and then uh, as I was leaving, I thought, you know, this this doesn't feel right. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting some bags. So I went back in, and sure enough, I had forgotten a bag which I got and picked up. And I kind of looked around, and I didn't see anything else. Um, so I left. And I thought that was it. 
but it is it's possible that I, I also left them there um, sort of up behind the front stage uh, was was where I'd put those so if anybody took home anything from KA con and they're like where did this bag with some cookies and stuff in it come from just just let me know you know uh, it, people pick stuff up on accident all the time that doesn't you know, it's not like you're going to get in trouble for it, and I would prefer to know what happened if you know. So that's it. Um, uh, okay, I, that's it. That's that's it. And there may even be other stuff that I'm not even thinking of that I don't even really know about. So if you gave me something at KACon, uh, just check up with me. Now I do know DJ is clearly a little better at this stuff than I am because um, she was given that painting of Eddie. And I know exactly where she put it, even. The painting is in the closet right next to her mirror, so she's looking at it every morning. She, she's, it's really sweet. So, so I know she's got the stuff that people gave her at KACon, and um, I also know the stuff that people gave me here after, um, when we were here, obviously is still here. And I know where I think uh, all of that is, maybe? I don't know. There was a lot going on. So, okay. That's enough rant about that, though. I think you get the idea. Uh, you understand what I'm saying, and uh, I don't have to belabor that point any further. Uh, I think at some point, as we're going through this, I'm going to suddenly discover that I have found a letter I have to read to you guys. But since I'm not finding it right away, and I want to get rolling on this, I've spent enough time kind of um, talking about nothing. So let's do that. Now, this is uh, something I'm going to open that came to us at KACon that someone's been asking about. It was given to us here at the house, though, which means it's right here and everything's fine. And it's got this tag attached to it. It says, The Note. And honestly, I haven't read this myself yet. So let's read it together. Uh, i got to show you what it is, though. Let's, let's look at it so we can talk about it while I'm reading The Note, because this is amazing. Uh, this is just fantastic. I love this thing so much. I just have to figure out where to put it. So, here it is. It is a Kitten Academy, the fancy logo. I love this logo so much. And it's done with um, uh, whatever you call it, where each one of these is like a little tiny bead in a different color. Uh, and they're kind of shiny too, like little rhinestones almost. So each, each little thing is like a pixels uh, in a display. Um, it's really cool. Um, oh, so sweet. You even signed the back of it, which I love. I've mentioned so many times about how when somebody gives us art, um, I always take their note and sort of I, I make a pocket on the back of the, the art and put it in the pocket. So I'll always have the note with it, you know. Um, so I think that's fantastic. That not only that, you signed the frame. So it says, Mr. A and DJ, when I stumbled upon a site where I could get a design made for one of my favorite crafts, diamond painting... From any picture or image, KA was the first thing I thought of. It ended up being a little larger than I expected. Apparently dimensions are hard for me. But I hope you like it and put it, hang it, store it, however you see fit. Oh, 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 oh man, that was so close to knocking over the coffee. <laughs> I better put this someplace better. Uh, okay, I'll put it in my hand for now or my mouth. Mm. Uh, you say... I had the most amazing time at KACon. It was lovely to see you and meet DJ. I'm glad Till didn't interfere with you both coming. Me too. That was that could have been something. Someone at work asked where I was going, and when I tried to explain KACon, the best way to sum it up was that I was going to be among my people. I can't thank you enough for fostering. Uh, sorry, I just had to. Now I, now I messed everything up. Okay, sorry, I just, I, I think I messed everything up, but now I think we're good. Okay, got it. I tried to explain, uh, I tried to sum it up with, that I was going to be among my people. Uh, I can't thank you enough for fostering Smiley Face, such an amazing community. There we go. Uh, fostering such an amazing community. Yes. Uh, many spoo spoogles and keep it up and at them. And that is from Cab Cabless, K-A Bless. Um, K-A Bless is what we're going to go with. Um K.A. Bless 17, Mayhem, P.S., Mayhem and Bamboozle helped, helped a little. <laughs> That's so cute. It's, uh, it's really sweet. Um, I see someone bit the corner of your note, but it's been in my office for uh, since K.A. Con, and uh, it's been accessible to especially Loganberry and Custard. Custard, hi, buddy. Speaking of you, you block an entire camera, pal. That is, uh, you are some kind of eclipse. 
All right, that's a full moon eclipse, buddy. Maybe you want to turn around and show them your good side. Uh, all right. So this, it's obviously spectacular. Uh, I just, I don't even know what to say. I love, I love it so much. I, I think it's really cool. So I guess what you did, and I'm just, I'm just guessing here from what you said, is you send them the, the picture, and then they must send you back uh, not just the, the like a design. I have no idea how designs for these things work, like a pattern, you know, I assume. Um, but also they must send you the colors of the little beads that are they're going to match, right? Or do they just send you a list of them and you have to order them from somewhere else? There's a lot of subtle little differences in color here, though. That's, that's uh, you know, there's there's got to be... Um, at least four different shades of the sort of yellow orange just in the cat's face alone. Uh, there's there's maybe three or four different shades of pinkish brownish red among the ear bits. You know, it's like it's really got some amazing detail in it. Even the the um, outline of the font, uh, of the academy, the word academy here, it has an outline around it normally. And the outline here has been um, rasterized into different colors. So it's not even a solid color here. There's little grays and browns and things. Uh, it's just, it's really, really cool. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I am going to have to hang it somewhere extremely prominent. Um, I just a question of, uh, I just have to figure out where uh, to put it. So uh, it's, it's really beautiful, though. Thank you so much, uh, K.A. Bless. Um, it is, it was, it's so... It's really cool. That's all I have to say, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm at a loss for words, uh, not just because it's such an amazing, thoughtful gift, but because I already explained. Uh, I'm, I'm having a loss for words kind of morning here. Gosh, I thought I could just fit this note under these little tabs so it would stay here until I have a chance to make something more permanent. I guess I did, but I'm going to put it back in the box just for the purpose of keeping it with the note. Um, it is, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for this. Okay. It's also possible that what you meant is you send them the thing and they just send you this fully completed, which is cool too, uh, if that's the case. I just, I just don't know what is the case, I suppose. Um, okay. Let's move on. Where's my box with the knives? Okay. My box with the knives. Wow. Makes me sound like a serial killer. Uh, all right, we have this says right on the front. It is uh, it says Laura Squall Wellingtons on it. So let's find out if, if there's a, a clue what that might mean on the inside. No, not I don't think there is. Oh wait, there's some kind of a note here that says Laura Squall and Wellington. Okay, addressed to the three of you. I guess that's one way to do it. Uh, and. Um, I do see, I'm just trying to see if there's a note here uh, besides just your name and address, but uh, that's it. It says, Endowments for Wellingtons and Squall, the very best bottle babies ever. Aw, well, that's so sweet. They're definitely my favorite bottle babies ever. Very best uh, is, uh, that's, that's cast in a pretty wide net. So, Laura, uh, thank you so much for sending some really good stuff. This is from Mickey's uh, Pet Supplies. They're the ones that, that sell those, like, Rosie the Rat toys and stuff, but they sell a little bit of everything else, too. So, here we have uh, fun tubes. We've got these little, um, they're not, they're, I guess they're pom-pom, pom balls. Yeah, that's what you would call those. We got these little fuzzy mice. I especially like that the white one has little black um, eye things. Um, the, the black one should have little white ones. It's got black ones too, though. Interesting. Um, oh, we've got a couple of, of course, each thing. So there's one for each of them when it comes to this stuff. There's uh, the Yao Catnip Heart. So sweet. So, of course, there's two of those as well. And finally... Let's see here. There's also another palm balls in there. Uh, anything else I didn't show you two of? There's two of. Ooh, these are the really fancy Rosie the Rats. I've got one of these that I think has been too fancy for me to even deploy. It's been sitting in our uh, good toy drawer uh, for a long time, like over a year probably. Every time I open it, I see it in there, and I'm like, that is so cool. When am I ever going to hand that out for the kittens to use? So... Uh, these are the Rosie the Rats. It's a real fur toy, and it's got a little leather face and a little leather tail and then a fur body. 
and they're wonderful. The cats, obviously, they like anything that's real fur, and I don't even know if they care that it looks like a rat, but they do seem like they like the leather as something to kind of chew on and play with. Um, the reason I say these are extra fancy, though, is they have crowns. I don't know if you can see that, but the standard Rosie the Rat does not have a crown. These two have crowns, and so does that one in the drawer. I think I've got it in a bag with like three regular Rosies and then one with a crown, so we all know who's in charge there. Uh, so this is great. This is so sweet for you to send for Squall and Wellington. It doesn't say anything about Sprout, buddy. Sorry, Sprouty. Uh, um, uh, thank you. That's that's wonderful. I just that's so so nice of you. Um, they're gonna love that. It's uh it's tough to even think about them going someday, but yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay, moving right along. Ooh, uh, this is uh, fancy tins in here. Real actual tins, and they're not plastics. They're tins. Oh, this is another one from Laura Kitten Fan. Yao Stinkies for general deployment as you see fit. I hope all the cats and kittens at KA enjoy these from Laura Kitten Fan. Thank you, Laura Kitten Fan. The Yao Stinkies are the ones that look like little tiny fish, and they come in this really cool sardine tin. Uh, it's got a sliding top that slides open rather than, you know, like, uh, like lifting on a hinge like you, you see some... Uh, some tins do. So this is a really cool little tin that I've used for projects before. In fact, uh, I've got one upstairs. I drilled a couple holes in the side of it and put, um, it's not a, it's not a raspberry pie, but it's like a raspberry pie, uh, similar uh, thing. That's got a little, the, the reason I put holes in it, uh, in the thing is to put it past an antenna through because you know, these things are, they're, they're actual metal. So they make a, a Faraday cage. You can't get a Wi-Fi signal out. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's, it's nice, but the Yao, of course, is great catnip, and uh, um, the, uh, everybody's going to love that. I need a place to start putting stuff that's for sort of general use, so I'll just set those next to me for the moment. Uh, those are wonderful, though. Like I said, the Yao catnip is really good catnip, as you know, and then the fact that these st stinkies come in little tins, uh, I think, is the, just icing on the cake, because those tins are great. Like, you know, back in the day, uh, hackers... Uh, we used to go through all the Altoids because Altoids came in that great little tin. I don't think they do anymore. Uh, do they? Do they still come in a little tin or do they come in a uh, plastic thing now, a plastic tin? Uh, anyway, that used to be the way to make a little tiny electronics enclosure. Um, and uh, these are... Uh, I don't know. Okay, nice ramble. Good job, me. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, is there a... Nothing in the address either. Oh, this does say Laura Kitten Fan at the end there. Okay. Wand toys for Wellingtons and Squall. Aww. So these are the good wands, the ones with the sort of fiberglass rod I've talked about so many times. Um, and there's also some variation among wands. Well, first off, you say, uh, I've, Wand toys for Wellingtons and Squall. I've so enjoyed watching you two grow up and learn to become cats. You're the best bottle babies ever from Laura Kitten Fan. All right. Thank you. Um, and then uh, the fiberglass uh, extendable wands, they've got these foam handles. And the thing I like about this one is it's got the fishing um, line. So it's a lighter string, uh, but still pretty strong. And then at the end, they've put a little clippy. So you can clip all kinds of various toys in there. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of toys that it comes with, but you can put whatever you want on the end. So, uh, fantastic little wands for the two of them. And uh, you are already digging into your stuff over here, aren't you, Welly? I saw that. Okay, put that back in your endowment bag, I guess, for now. We'll get some boxes. Let's get a box open and see if we can start using it to organize things a little bit. Uh, so, so far, today is uh, Laura Kitten Fan Day, like yesterday was uh, Lisa for Kittens Day, right? That's cute. Okay. Let's see. Now, this one's just addressed to Kitten Academy. It's full of... This is good. Oh, I know what this was. I got a note about this, and uh, I, I did not find it. So, uh, my apologies, but that's fine. We'll send this out in due time. This is, uh, this is the bowls from Clint. We all know about Clint and the bowls that Clint has sent for every single class. Uh, and this is no exception. So th I only pulled one out, but there's a whole bunch here. You say, Mr. A, here are bowls for Puddles and all her kittens. From Clint in NH. Uh, Clint in NH. 
I, I really can't, I can't thank you enough. You've done this for every class uh, going way back. I think you're one of the original old-time fans. Uh, I, I shouldn't say fans. I should say supporters. Um, I don't know. You, you've definitely done a lot for these kittens for a long time. And these bowls are wonderful. I always say how wonderful they are, and it is so true. Um, they are spectacular. I, I love the stainless steel bowls that I have for the cats and kittens. It's really the way to go. So, uh, uh, Clint, uh, thank you so much for sending along the ones for these guys. That's really nice of you. And like I said, uh, I'll set a couple aside um, to, to send on to the puddles and crew that already went. Okay. Uh, moving right along. Now we've got a place to put the endowments. I'll just slide it on over. Ooh. Oh, somebody horked on top of this box just a little bit. And that must have just happened this morning. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's let's see what else we've got here to open. Okay, that's just packing material. Oh my goodness, the galloping! I love the galloping kittens. I don't, does the does this this lab mic probably doesn't pick up the sound of them galloping very well, does it? Because it's so focused on my voice, it's right here. Anyway. Uh, okay, this says, Hi, Mr. A. I've often thought Photon needed a faux brother or sister to keep him company. I always thought Photon was a her, but that's okay. We don't know. So here is his new sibling. I thought the orange tabby looked a little like Teaspoon from Busy Cat. Aw, oh, Busy Cat. Thank you so much. Oh, oh wow. At first I was looking at this thinking, I don't think this is the same kind of toy. But now that I've got him, uh, now that I'm looking at him, I do think it's the same kind. I think it's a perfect match. It's a different pose, but it's a very realistic looking little cat toy, just like little Photon is. I think this would fool somebody from a distance. It's even got, it's got separate haunches. Like there's so many seams going on back here. It's got little feet that stick out. It's even got cute little paws on the bottom. And uh, this head is uh, actually a carved foam head instead of being plush, so it'll keep the shape really well. Uh, I think Photon's head is actually plush as well, but it still has got the right shape. Uh, you got a weird dent in the middle of your head. Wow, that's a really strange shape little foam cat skull. I guess they do that so that it takes on the right kind of shape. You know, cats have that, that little dip in between their, their ears, I guess, a little bit, you know, uh, like behind. That's a little high for that, though. I don't know what they're doing. That's fine. Maybe somebody just Gave it a little dent on top. <laughs> One lump or two. Uh, all right. That is really, really cute. And I am going to have to put him somewhere, maybe with Photon, but now we've got two cats to put around and surprise ourselves constantly. Photon, you know, even though I know, and if you don't know, Photon is that, that the cat that you see around that's a stuffed cat that looks completely real. Um, I think right now it's in the living room somewhere. I think it's still in the, the bowl, the bowl on the climbing wall. Um, anyway, even knowing that we've had it for years and, um, I still get caught out by it constantly. You know, you see it like, and you're not really paying attention and your brain just says, yeah, it's a cat over there. And then it won't be until later that you're like, wait, that's not custard. You know, you're like, wait, that's not, there's not a cat over there. Or, you know, wait, what cat is that? Uh, and it's not. So, uh, busy cat. Thank you so much. Now we've got two of those to put around and fool people. Uh, that'll be really fun. Okay. Cool ourselves, I think, more than anybody. Uh, thank you. I guess uh, um, this one's going to end up needing a name, right? We need something that's like a clever pun. And I guess on this case, a clever pun on teaspoon. I don't know. We've really... I, I think we've really tapped that well. So we're going to have to find out. Um, okay, the note on the... I'm sorry, the outside of this says, Dana BX Crew. So, perfect. We know who that is. Um, but I don't know what this is. Interesting. Hello, K.A. Okay, it says for Squall and Wellington endowments, or as you see fit, stay cool and blessed. Aw, oh, from Dana BX Crew. Okay, well, I really don't know, um, I don't know what this is. So, let's find out. There's a cat in that bag, literally a cat in the bag. I don't know if I can move this where you can see it without them deciding to jump out. Who is it? That's one of the tabbies. There you go. How cute is that?
Okay, Dana. Oh, it's Mylar balls. It's a whole bunch of Mylar balls. Look at all that. Um, that's that's perfect. Oh, they love that. Good. I had I had no idea because the outside just gives absolutely no. Well, and now I can see M Y L A is on here. I guess I could have got it from that. It says Silk Fly, keep fit and active, Myla. Anyway, these are great. Uh, mylar balls are fantastic. These guys have uh, discovered mylar balls and love them. In fact, I just had to bring two in that had, had gotten pushed under stuff because they're constantly pushing them under things. So that's always a big hit, and I know that they are going to love that. So thank you very, very much, Dana BX Crew. Perfect. Uh, this is another thing, and I think once I tell you who sent it, it says right here on the outside, you are all going to know what's in it. It is from Lena, Lena, uh, and Lena, uh, there's a note, it says, for serving up lots of yummy treats to the April May me hours and lovely serenity love and spoogles, Lena. Also, you say Puddles and Crew will get theirs directly. Wow, that is so nice of you to go the, the extra mile there and send those to them directly so you know that they'll get them this year. Um... That's uh, that's smart, <laughs> frankly, but also it's really considerate of, of you. Uh, that's cool. So, um, okay, so we don't have to open all of these, but I do want to open one. They're so tightly packed in here, my goodness. Uh, I do want to open at least one so you can see what it is that Lena has sent. There you go. Oh, these are different than the ones that you normally send. Uh, so Lena always sends something that's been sort of personalized, like, you know, um, for, the, for the kittens with their names on it. And uh, frequently we get either catnip toys that have their names embroidered in them or uh, cat dishes that are shaped like a cat head with these little ears that stick up. And this time you've sent cat dishes that are shaped like little fish. They are adorable. And they have a little smiley face and they say the name in the bottom. This is wonderful. It says drizzle. It's a little fish. It's just the right size for one wet food meal or uh, uh, some treats in a little treat bowl. It's fantastic. Um, I, I, I have to say, I think I like these the best of all so far. Um, not only are they super cute, but I always worry about the cat head bowls, that those ears are going to become a thing that just breaks off, like instantly, you know, or maybe not instantly, but, but too soon. That's going to be... The, the ears are going to be the reason uh, it, when those bowls are retired. Uh, like, you know, you can already see that that's coming someday. Uh, and with these, I don't, I don't have that idea. I feel like those could last indefinitely. Uh, we have a, a similar little tiny cat bowl uh, that you guys have seen it. You might remember. It's the one that's sort of salmon colored. It's got the little purple fish on it um, that uh, we have had for... I don't know, probably five or six years, and I just, I think I just dropped and broke it the other day, so you won't be seeing it again, um, but but uh, my point being that those those can last a long time, and uh, those are those are fantastic. I think that's going to be, I, I really, those are so cute. I love them. Okay, uh, that's, that's really, really, really sweet of you to do. Uh, it's super thoughtful, and uh, I think those are the, I mean, those are really great. They're all fantastic. Those, those, even the cat head bowls, they're wonderful. Uh, they're so cute and personal and, um, you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, so was there a, a note on the outside of this I should have noticed? No, it simply says Kitten Academy. All right, let's look for a note on the inside, but to find the note, I've got to pull this out and it is Nulo Freestyle, exactly what we feed these kids. And... It says, ah, oh, practicals for Till's Petty Cash from Raylene and Zenithon. Well, it says R and Z, but we know who R and Z would be. So, uh, Raylene and Zenithon, thank you so much for the practicals. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday, I like calling it the practicals. Um, these are, this, not only is this extremely practical, but I might have to kind of put these at the bottom of our uh, food cabinet so they don't get used right away. 
And the reason being that we buy the, the big, uh, what are they? They're like 12 ounce cans. They're huge. I, I think that's what they are. And these are the smaller five uh, or six ounce cans, which are still the bigger size when it comes to cat food normally. Uh, but these are smaller. And it's happened to me a few times now when I have to give just one cat, like one meal, um, uh, it happened to me, I think just last night, I was going to go and refill the food dish for Till, but I didn't want to give everybody else another meal. Um, and I had to open a whole can and, and uh, put some of the extra down for the kittens anyway, uh, where having one that was this size would have been perfect. I could have just opened one of these, given it to Till, and uh, not had anything that I had to figure out what to do with. So that's super helpful too. I really appreciate that. Um, it is perfect and convenient that way. So, I, like I said, I think that's worth uh, setting aside so that well, I'll have that convenience for a while. All right. Um, gosh, I, I, I'm almost positive there was a note today. I might have to go look for it since we haven't found it yet. I don't think we're going to. Well, maybe it's behind the boxes, though. We had that happen for a whole box yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, there was a whole box yesterday, so if you didn't see it... Um, well, gosh, I want to tell you guys to rewind the archive and find it, but it could be months before that archive's uploaded the way I've been going lately. Uh, so, good job on me, I guess. I, I, I know what it was. It was, uh, it was a copy of the binoculars. I, I've been told that they're listed as binoculars, uh, but it is that cat scratcher that looks like a binoculars or um, kind of looks like a like an original Tron light cycle. Nah, you got to really use your imagination for that. Uh, anyway, it's uh, the the one that's got the two circles that's upstairs in the uh, in the annex. I think it's been there for a while, kicking around up there. And it's a copy of that particular cat scratcher, and it was sent by I, I want to say Joy F uh, is the one that sent that. So thank you so much again. Uh, I did intend to mention that today. I'm glad I, I didn't forget. So, All right. Uh, this is... Oh, well, we all know who this is from. I should have said, because uh, as soon as you see the box, you know this is a B&B &B Sisters box. And this is a really cute card. It is a picture. Uh, I can tell it's photoshopped of five kittens together, but it's a really good job. Uh, and they've got a, one of them's got a really cute smile on. Um, I think that's the, mostly the giveaway because it's not really a kitten smile. <laughs> uh, but that's adorable. And it says, hello to all at Kitten Academy. Guess who? We are sure everyone can guess. Yes, you can. Uh, we just love the new cat mom, Till, and her babies. It never gets old watching a new cat mom give birth. It's always an amazing event to watch. We look forward to watching our kittens grow big and strong. Enclosed are the usual food, blankets, and lots of toys to be used as you see fit. Oh, the B&B &B sisters, of course. So, B&B uh, sisters, thank you very much. All right, let's go through here. I see we've got some spelunkers in the endowments box. Uh, that's cute. Okay. This is probably the wrong direction. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the fact that it's so white and then just a little bit of the rose here and then you've got the hummingbird up in the corner. Uh, really cool colors. Oh, that cat's got like a unicorn horn. Am I, am I seeing that right upside down? Maybe that's just his ear. I think that's just his other ear, but it's got these little sparkles in it that uh, caught my eye as being like a horn. It does look that way if you look at it right. you got to squint or be upside down like I am. Okay, anyway, that's really cute. I love the, the color of it and the fact that it's, you know, it's, it's sort of mostly white with just a little splash of color here in the corners. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Very artistic. Okay, I can see Custard wants to lay down on it already. Hang on there, buddy. Uh, this one's got something written on it. Hold that for me, Custard. Thank you. It says, I'm not lazy. I'm just in, uh, I'm just in every, no, energy saving mode. Okay, cool. See, I read that through the blanket. That was a little tricky, but uh, he's so cute. That's such a cute illustration. I love it. And uh, I do think that uh, not only will DJ love that illustration, that's exactly the kind that she thinks is adorable because it is adorable. 
I don't want to make it sound like she's delusional or anything. No, that's that's super adorable. Um, uh, I think she'll like that. It's also, I think it kind of speaks to her uh, being in energy saving mode <laughs> frequently uh, when she's at home because, you know, she's, she's puts in so, she's been at work all weekend and she was up all night too. She was here overnight, but she was up all night taking calls and uh, consulting and doing stuff that, you know, second year uh, fellows end up doing. So, so yeah, she works really hard. I, I don't blame her at all for saving energy. Anyway, this blanket that's being attacked by Wellington has cute little like butterfly cats with magic wands. Uh, and then uh, that one really stands out because the other ones are like a cat in a pail, a cat with a little birdhouse, uh, two kittens looking at butterflies. We've got a cat sleeping and some flowers, a couple cats wrestling. That's all real normal stuff. But then up here, with all the normal stuff, we have a cat that has butterfly wings, is flying, and has a magic wand. So um, that's interesting that, that, that that's in among all the relatively normal little cat things. <laughs> uh, that's cute. I like it. Okay. Uh, very cool. Okay. Now they, these kids are digging way into your stuff. So many toys, like you said. Wow. All right, let's see. Uh, let's just let's go through these and see. Uh, this is cool. Uh, I wanted to go through these quickly, but this I haven't seen yet. You always send stuff that's that's unique. Um, anyway, this says it is Pet Links, which is a brand we see lots of, uh, and it says it is the Lil Devil. That's L I L apostrophe Lil Devil, and that's exactly what it is. It's a cat head that is a devil, and it even has a little elastic, uh, not elastic, just string. It's got a little devil tail, though, with a little pointed end, like you see in a cartoon of a devil. That is so cute. That is just so cute. Okay, um, some of this stuff we can go a little quicker for. We got a bag of Charlie balls. We got a bag of Mylar balls, here called Crinkle balls. That's a weird thing, okay. You keep working on that branding, guys. Uh, here we have <laughs> fish paste. It's toothpaste. Uh, it says handmade, personalized cat and dog toys, Deborah Ann Marie Studio. Wow, Deborah Ann Marie Studio.com. Anyway, this is catnip. It is toothpaste, but it says fish paste, uh, which is cute, but also a, a product that actually exists uh, for brushing your cat's teeth. You can buy it at the pet store, and it comes in a salmon flavored toothpaste. I've tried it for Loganberry before because the vets have told me multiple times I should be trying to brush the faculty's teeth. Uh, I tried it once and then I was like, this is not a thing that can be done. <laughs> so <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't kept up with that at all. Uh, anyway, here we have uh, catnip s'mores. How cute is that? It is a s'more nip. It says right on it. Uh, we've got kittens that are just laying atop all the toys in here. Oh, there's just so many targets biting. Okay. Uh, here we have Kitty Sriracha, also from Deborah Ann Marie Studio. Okay. Here we have Old Mice. I still love Old Mice. I think this is the second time we've seen this one, and it's so great. Uh, I think I put the other Old Mice in one of the endowments. Uh, I might I might have to keep this one around because that's so funny. Um, this is cute. This is a blender. And the blender uh, actually has like an open thing that's got a crinkly material in it, so it crinkles. Um, but not only does it have an opening, inside that then there are three different fruits on elastic strings. Uh, so they stay around, you know, as all part of the same toy, but they're the fruits that go in the blender, obviously. So we have kiwi, strawberry, banana on strings, and the blender you can see down there at the bottom, it even says perfect puree, blend purr. Okay. Very cute. Uh, here we have the Perseco and Cupcakes set. Uh, catnip plush toys for cats. Okay. This uh, really makes me think of going to get um, uh, shrimp teenies, though. That's cute. But this is Perseco, so there you go. Uh, that's quite a set. We have Huggle Cats Fur Bollies. They're not fur balls. They're fur bollies. Uh, I don't know what makes them bollies instead of balls, um, but they are, as advertised, fur balls. Okay. Here we have what appears to be a cow unicorn thing. Wow, what is it? Does it say? It says prancing palm unicorn. Okay, I guess it's just a unicorn. It's just got a, a weird face, I guess. Uh, it's a really cute face. Plus, it's made out of the strangest materials. 
Uh, it almost seems like somebody went to the fabric store and picked out all the really cool little materials that you never get to use for anything. Because um, we've got, uh, it's got these, like, um, uh, I guess almost a lame. Uh, it's not that, though, because it's really stretchy. Uh, but it's shiny gold for his horns and his feet. Uh, then we've got a, like a wool texture for his back. And then the coolest thing is we've got like this cork material. It looks and feels like cork, but it moves like fabric. Crazy uh, for the front there. So that's some cool stuff. All right, little unicorn. Uh, here we've got another unicorn with some rainbows and some long feet things. Uh, beer and pretzels, classic. All right. Oh, uh, pizza, also classic there. Junk food for our kitties. We got some, oh, home-style waffles as well. Uh, that's cool because this is, I think, the same waffle I've seen in the chicken and waffles set, but uh, it is attached to a package uh, of frozen waffles, and it's also just like the blender. It's got a string that attaches it to the package, so it, it stays as part of the same toy. Very cool. We have, oh, wow, this is actually a shrimp, a shrimp chino. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's ramen. It's supposed to be ramen, but I guess you wouldn't know that unless you really look. It's a, it's a, it's a drink with a bunch of shrimp stinking, sticking out of the top, you would think. Although, if you look behind it, you can see the noodles and stuff uh, that, that makes it uh, a ramen bowl. Uh, so, I guess you would recognize the, the shape of it if you were big into eating ramen, instant ramen as well, I suppose. Okay, here we have a soda and pizza together. Oh, there's definitely a theme here. You must have been hungry when you found these cat toys. Uh, although this one is a garden set to match the, um, the Prosecco set. Uh, and it's got a little spade and a, a watering thing and a hummingbird and a gnome. Best of all, a little gnome. A uh, weird little abstract gnome with... Um, I don't know, strings and hands, maybe? Are those supposed to be hands? I don't know. He's super cute, though. Here we have a bumblebee and a ladybug. Tis the season. Here we have a croissant, a donut, and a coffee. Those all fit together. Oh, here we have another one of those sets. These are cute sets, cat stages. Um, this one appears to be going to the circus. It's got a picture of a strong, strong man on it. Um, but then what it, we actually have here are a hot air balloon, a, uh, it's a hot dog, but it's got cat ears and a face, and on it, it also has cat chup, uh, very clearly labeled. And then finally, we have a popcorn, uh, bath, bag, ba, 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 popcorn, uh, uh, bag, box, what do you call that? Tub, ah, tub, that's the word I'm looking for. We have a tub of popcorn. And the popcorn inside is represented by a mylar ball, which once again is on a little string. So it stays with the popcorn. You can put it in and out of that little popcorn tub. How cute are those? That is really adorable. Why are you standing like that in the toys? That's such a weird thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost afraid he's going to pee in it. But he's just standing. Okay. Here we have the classic skitter critters that uh, uh, I always refer to as being Logan's fetch toys. Here we have another set. This one appears to be, oh, the candy store. We've got a gummy bear. We have a Swedish fish, uh, except it says sweet-ish. It's a sweet-ish fish. <laughs> I see. Uh, we got a lollipop. We've got a gummy worm. We have a, what appears to be a pack of, uh, well, Smarties, but that's the American Smarties. And then uh, ice cream. So all the little sweet treats. Super cute. Uh, here we have a chicken, uh, bucket with a chicken also attached by a little cord. So you can put it in and out of the bucket. And, uh, oh, this is that really cute little lion launch toy. This is just like the launch toy that we saw yesterday that failed to launch. This one feels a little springier though. I feel like he would probably go places. I don't know. Anyway, he's adorable. I love his little face and his little mane. It is so cute. Uh, wait, one more toys, one more toys. Uh, oh, this is the, it's rattle mice. Um, you know, I could open it and show you, but you guys know what rattle mice look like, and so do I, so there we go. <laughs> Wellington is just digging around, playing in that box, having a good old time. All right, there's one more blanket that was at the bottom of all that. 
Ooh, it's uh, kitties with yarn, and it's a little different. Most of the blankets you send are this really nice sort of fleecy material. This one is the same material on top, but it's two layers. And on the bottom, we have this just really soft, furry, fuzzy stuff. And a little bit of, um, ooh, uh, bias tape. Is that right? Bi bias tape? Is that what I'm calling that? Man, I remember last time uh, we got a blanket like that, I was trying so hard to remember what you called that edge. Uh, is that right, though? I don't know if that's right. Uh, anyway, it's basically like a piece of ribbon that you <laughs> fold around the edge there. It makes it real nice. Uh, so that's, that's an extra fancy blanket from you guys. A little extra. Uh, beautiful. B&B Sisters. Oh, and uh, I didn't mention, but here it is at the bottom. I should, probably should take this out and put them over here. More of the convenient uh, five or six ounce cans. What size actually is it? Five and a half, right? Split the difference. Okay. So I'm going to take these foods out and stack them on top of the other foods. Thank you so much for those. And I'm going to put all the rest of your sort of uh, as you see fit general use stuff back in this very convenient box that you've sent. I have a whole bunch of these white boxes with the, the distinctive sticker pattern on them uh, in the basement. <laughs> lots and lots. Uh, I think I think every adopter since you started sending stuff to us has taken at least one of your boxes home with them. Uh, I'm guessing. So very cute. Okay, put all that in there and uh, these two play in. Guys, hi. Are you visible on the the camera? Let me. Uh, where's my phone? Where is my phone? There it is. Okay, let's take a quick look. No, not exactly. Let's zoom in on that because it's too cute. And maybe you'll be able to see. I don't know. Let's find out if we can. Oh, man, they're so close. Now they're just going to stop. Look, now they're both out of the box temporarily. All right, we'll see if they go back in. All right. Uh, oh, I think we're at the end almost. We've only got one box left here ourselves, which is the one that Custard is sitting on. Of course it is. Of course it is, because that's how it goes, Custard. I'm going to want that box, pal. Buddy, get that Xbox, please, Custard. Uh, Custard, buddy? There's only so much I can clean up. It's about that much, actually. Oh, uh, these were supposed to be for general use too, right? I think we we're supposed to use them around the academy, though. That's fine. That's what that box is for, for general stuff. So, all right, this says Kitten Academy, and on the top, right in the middle, it says Care of Tear Bear. So, Tear Bear, thank you in advance. Uh, hopefully, you've got a note in here, because it looks like you probably shipped this yourself. Let's find out. Maybe, if we can, get in here. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. Hey, look at that. You could uh, you could work at Amazon the way you pack this. We got a box in a box. Uh, but I think that's just your kind of knife guard because of the box inside says, Open carefully with exclamation marks. All right, I'm going to open very carefully here, especially in the middle. There we go. All right. Wow, you really packed this well, though. Uh, unlike Amazon that tends to just throw a box in a box, you've got uh, like an entire inner layer of packing material perfectly arranged all the way around and even. That's, that's some pretty good work right there. Uh, so there is a note on top. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I see lots of treats. That must have been the need for the caution is that uh, you didn't want me to cut into these churu bites. Ooh, lots of churu bites. Those are good. Okay. Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty. Just sending a few things for Teaspoon, Wellies, and Squall, endowments mostly. I've also included some treats and toys to be shared with all current staff and attendees. Thank you so much for this safe haven from the craziness that is my world at times. I've had a lot of real-world stuff going on the last several months. I found that starting my day with KA and ending my day with KA and Discord chat helps me deal with the craziness. I've loved watching Wellies and Squall thrive under your care. They are so spunky and cute. They haven't 
ever really known how small and tiny they are compared to the larger kittens. They have such confidence. Good job, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope T, Wellies, and Squall enjoy their gifts from Tear Bear, of course. Terry, who is Tear Bear on Discord. Okay, Tear Bear. Uh, yeah, first off, um, Wellies and Squall are just, they're wonderful. And, you know, I, I, I feel what you say about them not knowing uh, that they are smaller than the other kittens because uh, they are just really hyper playful. They don't hesitate to wrestle with anybody. Um, I've even seen them like staring down Maggie and trying to play with her. So they just, they have no fear. It's wonderful. And then I've mentioned so many times about how when I'm in lying upstairs, you know, in bed watching TV or playing video games or whatever I'm doing, um, they like to get right on my chest and, and in my face and then lick my nose and my mouth and, you know, uh, groom me and snuggle. Uh, I don't know if I've said, though, a lot of times, especially lately, this is, this is more of a new thing. One of them will hear me in the bedroom and come running from across the house and they run, they don't like run onto the bed and then see me and they're like, hey, let's hang out. They run full speed all the way up right onto my chest and just like put their, they just run like, like a torpedo, like seeking my face. They just headbutt me, just run in full speed, all their momentum right into my face, like pow. Uh, and then they start looking and grooming me. Uh, but it's it's really, it's almost violent the way they just run right up and they just smash into my face to start grooming me. It's cute, though. It's a, I mean, they're small. It's adorable. And uh, even Custard here, he'll, he, when he wants attention, he'll start headbutting me uh, a lot. And he's got some force behind it. Don't you, buddy? I know. I saw you over here looking all playful. You're getting ready to pounce on somebody. Or you were. So, all right, Tear Bear, let's go through what you sent for the um, Teeny Wellies and Squall. Um, we have Churu Bites, that's to chicken with tuna and salmon. That's a, the hat trick of Churu Bites, and you sent a whole bunch of those. Uh, in fact, um, there we go, that's all the Churu Bites. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Um, but on top of that, you've sent churu, the regular kind. Uh, so lots and lots of those two all packed together. That's a ton of churu. You sent, uh, ooh, Charlie balls, the kind that are the regular Charlie balls that we're all familiar with, plus these slightly bigger, shinier Charlie balls. I said shinier. In a way, they're less shiny, but they've got that, uh, like, uh, pearl, opal thing going on. Uh, we got those, the plastic balls with the, the bell in them, a classic. Um, ooh, uh, rechargeable motion. All right. Well, that's what it says, but I think it's a reused box because what it contains are rechargeable motion. They are rechargeable. You just, you kind of push them down and that charges them. Uh, it's that easy. So the original rechargeable motion, just like it says on the box. Perfection. Uh, here we have... Let's see, it says Fuzzy Tail Catnip Toys. Oh, and that's what this is this time. These are the ones uh, you might remember are they're made out of the marshmallow bed material, and they're catnip kickers, so they're just a long catnip kicker, and I didn't think much of it, but we pulled one out last time, and instant hit with all the cats and kittens, so it uh, turns out those are, are a big, big hit. Um, okay, uh, now we have three wrapped packages, each with their own card uh, on them. And I don't know if I'm supposed to open these or if I'm supposed to save it for their eventual adopters um, because they're so nicely packaged. Like you sent three of them that way, all uh, more or less the same. So I don't know if you're on Discord, write me out. If you are, um, let me know if these are all the same or if I should open all three, or if I should open none. These two feel the same. There's a weird round edge. Those two feel like the same. Oh, and this one's got it too. Okay. I think they're all the same. Gosh, uh, it's so nicely done though. And with the note on there, that's the thing that really makes me hesitate. Like, oh, maybe this is a, you know for their adopters. Um, or maybe he just wrote each of them a note that I'm supposed to read on Mailbag, which is also cool. I just don't want to do the wrong thing if you're there. You might not even be here today watching. It's a weird time. I know. 
All right, I'm going to open one and see how it goes, and I think we're going to go from there. So um, let's find out. Okay, I'll also keep a half an eye out here just in case uh, something is said. So let's pick one. Um, we're going to open teaspoon. carefully so we can put it back together as much as possible oh it's so cute it's a card that's got a little orange kitty with a butterfly on his nose and he's looking at it uh, and inside there's a note addressed to him that says teaspoon our little golden boy I've so enjoyed seeing you go from the tiny orange ball of fluff to the beautiful golden boy you are now your recent adventures en route to ka con ignited my imagination now I'm thinking about all the adventures you could have in the future. For example, the adventures of Connecticut Teaspoon International Cat of Mystery at the Cordon Bleu, learning all the other utensils, in the tulip fields, in the Brazilian rainforest, on African safari, at the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, taking pirate lessons in Jamaica, and so many more. Uh, Dare Bear. That's cute. Some of you may not know that uh, prior to KAcon, um, there was a, a whole bunch of photoshopping of Teaspoon done uh, that was him sort of traveling to KAcon in theory. Uh, not in actuality, of course. He did not attend, but, uh, but that was the fun of it. All right. Well, I feel like Tear Bear uh, may not be watching this morning, so we're just going to keep going with our plan which is to open one and see how it is. And maybe we'll read all three notes since that was very cute and uh, particular. So let's see about that. You think I can slide this out the side? What is it? It is a traveling, that's what I thought it was. It's a, it's a traveling case, which I kind of thought all of these might be. Here we go. Oh, that's some nice stuff too. Look at that, it's even got a big old luggage tag on it with the planet. That's so cute. Aw, that's cute. It says it's for Teaspoon Jansen uh, specifically, and there is address is Kitten Academy, Monroe, Connecticut. Uh, interesting, interesting, subtle uh, there. So anyway, very cute little case. Look at that. Inside he's got, ooh, a fish tank with fish in it. That's a cute toy. It's a little toy fish tank with little toy fish in it that he can grab out through the holes. Uh, really, really cute. You can see that is a, a fish tank. Yeah. Bowl, I should say, not tank, I suppose. Uh, we got these uh, familiar looking little balls. We have these familiar looking balls. We have these also somewhat familiar looking and balls. All right, I'm going to stop saying that. Uh, we have these soccer balls here. We have some more of the original motion toy, um, and oh, this is that same kind of kicker. I see all the contents here looking very familiar. That's good. Makes it easy to guess that the rest are probably the same or similar. Oh, and this classic bag of uh, what are both Logan's favorite toys, and you remember these, the red and white fur mouse with the little uh, wand attachment at the top? I know we've got a bag or two of these still sitting around somewhere. And there was a certain mom cat that loved to chew on those. We've got a lot of those flattened out over time here. Uh, oh, I almost didn't put that fish tank back. All right. Wow, how did this all fit in here? He's, a, he's good at packing for a trip, better than I am. Okay. Now, this slid out of here so easy. You think I can slide it right back in and pretend like it was never even open? Put it back in the same direction even. And then I think if we just look at the cards in the other two, we'll have had the complete experience, right? I think. So, oh man, look at this. I'm so close. So close to getting it back perfectly. Oh, but I've hit a snag. There we go. That's the trick. A little extra purchase. Okay. Uh, maybe I can even fold this up right now. Let's see. Hang on. I know. It's, it's thrilling. And you guys all have to just watch me do this while you wait to hear what the other two notes say. Uh, so, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I know. I'm building up the suspense. 
Okay, look at that. More or less exactly the way it arrived. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, okay, all those years cheating the Christmas presents, paying off. I don't think I ever actually did that. Did I? I don't know. Uh, another cute kitty with another cute butterfly looking at it on his nose. That's something. Beautiful, intrepid squall. Also, I do see this one has the same coloring as squall, so I get what you're doing, I think. Uh, it says, our little warrior princess with the chipmunk camouflage cloak. I love how you zoom through life and don't take any prisoners. Enjoy the toys and be sure to keep in touch with your parent and puddles. <laughs> That's cute. Your willing servant, Tear Bear. Adorable. Oh, I just love it. There's such cute boxes for them, too. And the notes are just the sweetest, sweetest thing. So finally, uh, Wellies. We'll just read a little Wellies note. Oh, it is. It's uh, it's not a dilute like Wellies, but I, I see, you know, there's probably a limited selection of these, but it is another kitten with a, a uh, butterfly on his nose. And this one says, fierce, tiny Wellies keep growing strong. Don't forget to keep in touch with mom, dad, Mr. A. I've included, I'm sorry, I've enclosed the tools to be able to do this. Oh, love, T-Bear. To keep in touch, oh no. Well, see, now you've made a hint that there's something completely different in this one, and now I don't know what to do. Do we open it? And then we have to open the other one? Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. If it slides out just as easily, I think we can do this. Oh, it is. It's a slightly different box. It does slide out easily, though. I like that. Hmm. So we've got uh, a luggage tag, very similar. Um, wellies, <laughs> same address. A uh, little bit of a planer box here. You can decorate it yourself, I guess. Oh, wow, you have included a different set of stuff. Look, we've got headphones to remind him. Uh, with the, I guess that's supposed to be like a, a microphone, but that's cute to have a little string on there to play with. Huh. Wow, uh, it even says the letter C on it like my real initial, um, except it's just the name of the company that makes it, but that's fine. You've included a cell phone. I think that's what you were talking about. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to say, looks uh, very similar. It's full of all this kind of same, same stuff, the regular kinds of toys that we're used to seeing. That is adorable. So now we've got the mystery of... Does the final box have the same stuff as this one, or is it different again? I guess we're going to have to solve that mystery. The only way we know how, I'm going to call Columbo. Uh, no, we're going we're gonna to take a look in there. Hang on. Hang on, though. I didn't open both sides of this. Uh, let's see if I can do this without opening both sides. Aha. Hang on. Gotta slide it down over. Gosh, dude, you're being so cute. Are you trying to do what that little kitten's doing? Dab, 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 dip, dip, dip. Ah, got it. Okay. Perfection. All right, let's check the last one. I mean, what else have we got to do? If you don't care, you can go now. This is the last thing, anyway. There's no other boxes. That's so adorable. Little squall just sitting there. Oh, it's okay. So the box is different. That's cute. We got the girl. Gets the girl box. Little squall. Oh, very pink. Pink with these little gold dots on it and a matching sort of salmon colored luggage tag. Uh, and the gold handle. Our little fancy girl. Oh, okay. But it is the same as for her brother. Except she gets pink headphones. Otherwise, the box appears to be identical. Very, very cute. All right, Tear Bear. That's amazing. The whole thing is amazing. It's so thoughtful. And I love um, that they've each got their traveling stuff, ready to go to their adopters, and uh, the notes. The personal notes really make it. And I'm so glad that I get to put these back together and give them to the adopters that way with the notes and all. That's going to be wonderful. So that's mailbag. Look at that. We're all caught up on the actual mailbag. 
not quite caught up on, you know, the uploads of the mailbags, but, uh, well, you know, it's always more to do. All right, uh, so how am I going to carry this stuff down to the basement in a way that keeps it, ooh, semi-organized. Don't lose these notes. The notes have to stay with these boxes. All right. I think what I'm going to do is just take your inner box here and pull that one out to, uh, to carry down. And the other box. Here we go. Okay. So that is a uh, mailbag. Thank you guys all so much for, for everything. Uh, for just for everybody that sent the things for the cats and the kittens. I love it. Um, it's, uh, it's especially fun for me when we, we get to do a mailbag and everything that came in is for the cats and the kittens. So that's the way we like it the best. And, um, Thank you too to, to people, you know, everybody, even if you can't uh, or, or don't send anything in, um, thank you so much for watching. I, I do really appreciate it and it does mean uh, something to us. So uh, I really appreciate it. All right. I'm going to turn off this microphone. I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up uh, and then we'll end the archive sometime after that. I will be back for that. Taller, if the ground's just getting further away. Oh, look at you! We've got Squall and the elephant with his toys. Uh, not Squall, uh, Wellington's the other one in the elephant. Wellington, it's a Wellington. I tried, but not very hard. Here's that letter. Ah, I knew there was a letter. It's right here. All right, let's open it. Doing today's mailbag backwards and without the proper microphone at the end, uh, but that's okay. Let's open our letter. I knew there was one. I suspected it might turn up at the end. All right. It says, oh, gosh, I hope... Uh, uh, this is from Carrie and Claire. Carrie and Claire. Uh, I hope you guys have not already tuned out because this is cute. Uh, it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, my name is Carrie R. I follow Kitten Academy with my daughter, Claire, who is disabled. She has epilepsy and brain damage. We have booked a trip to Connecticut later this year. Aw, I see. You're wondering if you can visit the Kitten Academy. Well, we don't normally do that. Uh, so I, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I see, <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if there's anything we can do about it because, uh, I think that's really sweet of you. We look forward to your reply. Um, take care. Yours faithfully, Carrie and Claire. Oh, well, uh, like I said, I think that's sweet and that's, that's not something that we generally do. And I don't, I don't know that I'll be able to make an exception, but. Uh, if the timing works out, you gave me a date in there, um, I'll, I'll let you know. So, all right, we'll find out. 
Uh, thank you for writing, though. I think it's really sweet of you, and I'm glad that you guys love watching. And I, I think you said in there that you're especially fond of Maggie, who just came out here. Maggie. Come here. Come here, Maggie. Come say hi. Come say hi at least this way. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's try this. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Good job, you big floofer. Okay. All right. Let me go back to getting this stuff out of here. And... Uh, let's see, this all belongs in the general stuff, doesn't it? Which we're going to have to put in here. Now, the true advice probably don't, though, actually. This all goes for a down to this. Let's do it. There we go. Now we got it. I won't forget. Living dangerously. All right.
All right, well, thanks again to everybody for uh, helping take care of these kittens. So, well, I really appreciate it. For, um, like I said, you know, it really does help us out just, uh, just to end up watching. Um, like I've explained before, at the very least, it, it helps, uh, you know, YouTube's algorithms sort of present us to more people in turn. And the whole goal of it is for us to find adopters. So, the more people we reach, the better off we are. Look at that, Maggie's cleaning her mini me. Grooming. What do you think about that? Huh? He's got a little scab. He's got a, um, Wellington has a little scab on his shoulder. It was originally where he got his vaccine. And you might remember his vaccine. Uh, he, he, had a, he was super painful about it, uh, like the day after or something. And I think he was bothering it a lot. And, uh, you know, uh, now it's turned into a little bit of a scab. So. Maggie was just sniffing it and licking on it. That's sweet of you, Maggie. You're a good, good girl. All right, well, I'm going to end the archive here. Uh, thanks again, everybody.